Hello all, welcome back to my channel in the journey to learn statistics. We have already seen what is descriptive statistics, what are its various measures and metrics, and what are its advantages and significance in data science. Now let's see what is inferential statistics and what contribution it has in the field of data science. So join one of web series on statistics within our minds, the one-stop solution for all your research and analytics. Before proceeding with inferential statistics, Let's see the basic differences between descriptive and inferential statistics and what are its purpose. Let's take up a very simple example. I have 100 students in a class and I want to find out the average marks of a class. How will I find out the average marks of a class? I will sum up all the marks of 100 students and I will divide it by the number of students. This is how we find mean. So what we are doing is we are describing the data. We are describing the characteristic of data. Whereas let's say if I have Calculating the marks of class 3 students in which I have 5 sections A, B, C, D and E. And I know that class A average marks is 90. Now, can I say the same for all the sections class B, C, D and E? I may, I may not. So, if I have to predict the marks of all the other sections of class 3, then what will I use is inferential statistics. So basically, descriptive statistics is helps us to organize the data, summarize the data, simplify it and present the data in a presentable format. But if I want to generalize a particular conclusion or a particular parameter for the entire population from a small subsample of data, then I will use inferential statistics. So it is used in hypothesis testing and to establish the relationship among other variables as well. So basically, descriptive statistics helps in describing the data, whereas inferential statistics helps in making predictions of data. And you know that prediction is a core concept of data science. Therefore, inferential statistics is very important in data science. So let's see its contribution now. So in a series of videos of inferential statistics, we'll be seeing the basic understanding of inferential statistics. What is probability? why it is important and how does it contribute in influencing our decisions. Then we'll see hypothesis and hypothesis testing required to make decisions using a particular approach. And then we'll see how to calculate the degree of certainty in decisions using confidence intervals. So let's see how does inferential statistics contribute towards data science. First, it helps us to understand the underlying nature of the data. That means how the data looks like. What is the spread of the data? Is the data spread around the mean or is the data spread around the entire range of data? Secondly, it helps us to draw inferences from the data. So if I have to generalize a particular statement for the entire population, let's say for Delhi state, then will I go to each and every people of Delhi and find out the, their opinion and analyze it? No. What will I do it? I will take a sample of population that means I can pick five persons from each demographic from each different region in Delhi and based on their opinion I can generalize a statement to draw the inference from the data and that using that inference I will generalize the same statement or same conclusion to the entire population of Delhi people. So this is how we find out inferences from the data. We find the inferences from the sample of the data and generalize it for the entire population. And third, it helps us to make predictions. Let's take up a very simple example. We all receive emails nowadays. We want to classify whether the email is spam or not. So how do we make this prediction? We make this prediction using inferential statistics. And this is a very core concept of data science. So inferential statistic basically generalizes the larger data set and applies probability theory to draw a conclusion. So to elaborate this, let me take up a very small example. If I want to calculate the poll sentiment of the entire country, let's say India. So India has a huge population. And to find out the poll sentiment of entire country or India, it is very difficult to reach each and every citizen of India. So what will I do? I will take a sample from each demographics of people from each demographic of India. So let's say uh, I'll pick some people from some state, some people from some state so that those subset of people represent that entire state. 
and similarly we have subset of people from all the states of india and based on their opinion i will take the whole sentiment from those entire subset of people and whatever their opinion is i will generalize it to the entire population that is what inferential statistics means but how will i sure whether whatever uh, prediction or whatever inferences i have drawn from the sample of data is generalizable to entire population to make certainty in our uh, in our uh, predictions we use probability theory that we'll see in a span of time so let's summarize the difference between population and sample first so population is the entire population entire complete set of population and sample is a subset of the population so the metric or the measurable quantity that is used to measure population is called as parameter and the measurable quality that is used to measure sample is called as statistic population is the true representation of your opinion so if i am calculating the poll sentiments of india and if i visit every citizen of india and i take their opinion that is a true representation of the data but if i am taking the opinion of sample of population and i am generalizing it for the entire population it may have margin of error and some confidence interval so this is what sample so reports may have margin of error and confidence interval when we are talking about the reports of a sample of data so population contains all members of the specified group and sample contains the subset that represents the entire population so this is how population looks like and the subset of the population is called as sample so let's take up a very simple example how do we take insights from the sample and how do we generalize it for the entire population let's say i have a population of 10000 insurance agents in a particular company Okay, and I want to find out the sale of each insurance agent. How will I do it? Will I go to each insurance agent, ten thousand insurance agents, to find out their sales, and then I will take a mean of them, and then I will generalize my statement that this is the average sales of each insurance agent. It is very practically impossible or quite time-consuming. So what will I do? I will take a random sample from this entire population of insurance agents. So this uh, sample can be based on the particular city which they are covering, particular demographic which they are covering, particular product they are covering, and so on. So we take up a random sample. And why random sample? Because we don't want to be biased towards a particular insurance agent. We want to cover each and every aspect to select a sample of. insurance agents that is why we are taking it as random sample now let's say i found out out of 10000 i take a sample of 100 insurance agents and i found out that the average worth of insurance sold by 100 agents is 179 322 right now this is what is called a sample statistic this implies that the best guess can be the amount of insurance sold by 10000 agents will also be similar that is 179 322 $. so this is what we draw inference and uh, from the sample of population to the entire population so in uh, my upcoming uh, series of videos we will see what is probability and the basics of probability we'll see what are events what are independent and dependent events we'll see what is conditional probability how do we apply it to a particular uh, problem and what is random variable what is normal distribution means and what are their significance and hypothesis testing so please stay tuned to my channel and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and for more suggestions and uh, material please do comment me in the comment section thank you all have a great day